All right, talking to me from Berlin, Germany, Alex Burrell from Flagstead, who is the, the director of The Hopper, which won Best uh, Film at the last Wild Sound Film Festival. How's it going, well, Alex? It's going good. And you? How's How's Berlin? It's great. Uh, it's good here. Good weather. New New season for everything. Okay, so you saw the the, the the feedback video from the festival. What were your what, what were your initial thoughts of watching the feedback video? It was very interesting because uh, people appear a bit more honest when the director's not there, and that is very helpful and, and fun to see. <laughs> so and um, and it's always fun to see how people put some stuff in the film that was, you didn't put on on purpose and other things where they didn't see it and it, it was very interesting. I, I really I really enjoyed it. So, and uh, yeah, it was really fun. Was there anything that stood out, like any comment or opinion that stood out for you? Like any comment that, that that's like, uh, any any like major comment that kind of like read, like that just, that jumped out for you, like that, that made you really think? No, I was, um, I was, uh, th this thing with the, there was a comment about the faces not moving and stuff like this, it's, it's, uh, was also on purpose in a way, and sure. I understand it from the, the whole animation technical side, but original, I'm not, uh, an animator or stuff like this, so, um, it was fun to see, uh, things, of fo of people are focusing on different things, and the main thing I was happy for was there was one person who said that, he thought that it was very realistic, as realistic as clay could be, and that was I was very proud about that because that was my intention to make it. People forget that it's uh, that it's clay somehow, it's so, a clay universe. So you said you're not a, a like a rich. Was this your first animation film? I did some small um, uh, music videos and stuff like this, but my my approach to animation has more been like working on low budget films and not being happy with the result of uh, uh, I couldn't couldn't pay actors and stuff like this so this was somehow I could control the universe sure. of this film still on a low budget and I mean I did more or less everything myself in this film so and yeah. I can choose wherever it should be in the world and there could be small kids and things that would be impossible without a budget yeah, they, they like they say animation's the, the pure like auteur kind of uh, filmmaker because you can control everything. You can you can you you know the actors are what you create. Like the performances are what you create in the animation. So do you have another uh, another clay animation film in you, or are you moving on to live action? Um, I'm right now. I'm doing some uh, videos and photos for another project, but I'm in my something I and begin slowly begin to start on which is not uh, finished yet or anything it's I would like to make like a, if it's possible in any way to make a feature about the prison system in America that would be very interesting okay so you're from you're from Denmark originally correct yes and you live in Germany I live in Berlin yes and so why the obsession with uh, or like the interest in uh, America the America kind of like underground like what like why 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 are you like why are you very focused on 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 that kind of subject? Um, in a way, because of course it's a little bit like music that most people from Europe or whatever they also sing in English <laughs> or stuff like a thing like this. This is one part of it, so there's a lot of people that can see it, and then I think a lot of people because America is so well distributed out in the whole world, many people have a opinion about America, good or bad or whatever. So you can, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's, it seems to me like there's many things in America that are more extreme. So in that way, it's right now, I'm, yeah, it doesn't have to be exactly America, but I don't know. I think this whole prisons thing, it's, it's pretty interesting because there's some part that's similar to Europe with America, but then still some parts where it's very, very different. So can still connect to it but still not connect to it what what was what do you think the overall theme of uh the hopper what's like what do you, what were you trying to really say with this film i wanted to sh to to show uh an environment that repeats itself a 
bad environment where people are born into a bad environment and can't really come out of it. And this can be everywhere. I mean, this is happening everywhere somehow. And yeah, to get a, a reminder of this. And my, um, I was, I was not super happy with this, the whole story. I think I needed, I, I needed some more in the story. Okay. Um, because I wanted, I wanted to create a story. Um, no, how can I say? I was very happy with the visual way it was told, and I wanted to describe a mood of our environment. And I should have also focused a bit more on the story than just the mood. But this I didn't realize before I was so far in the process that I couldn't change it. So well, that's that's what you do for the next project, right? Yes, exactly. So that's what I learned for the next project. <laughs> what was the symbolism of him wa seeing himself die on the street corner in the first like first shot or second shot, uh, second shot, and then like what was like it was like a kind of a circle effect. What was the symbolism of that? Uh, the the environment that repeats itself. Okay. That he's he sees he he kind of sees his future his future. Yeah. And it's also is the whole yeah little overview of this environment put into the story. What was the and so this is kind of almost like a, a tribute to the the wire the television series or is like completely, completely yeah completely. and so this is this is a popular show in Germany the wire yes uh, and in Denmark yes it's popular yes indeed and with like I guess the wire is about kind of the how you're talking about describing like the theme is like kind of a, it's a broken city it's a broken kind of a machine that's like you know yeah, it's, and and the polit yeah yes. A, a, a broken city, exactly. And how is the, the somehow it is? <laughs> is this like there? Is there like kind of like uh, like just me being ignorant in Germany? Is there are there like uh, bad sides of the they call it the bad side of the of the town? Is like is there things like that in your where you in Berlin? Obviously, yes. The, I mean, it's not as extreme because the it's not as easy for people here to get guns. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but, uh, but of course, there's uh, areas where there's young people who are dealing drugs and not having no other environment. This, this, I guess, it is in, in every big city. Um, but what, I don't think there's. Uh, yeah, I don't. It, it, of course, there is in every city. <laughs> what are the people like the, in Denmark and Germany or in Europe in general? What are their kind of like overall kind of impression? What's the overall impression like? I know it's a kind of a broad question to ask, but of the United States, like, what are people kind of broad opinions of the United States? Like, what do they think about America? <laughs> yes, I, I, I can't talk for everyone, uh, everyone yeah. but I think the I think it's a mixture of that it's a very exciting place and also an extreme. Uh, how can you say double moral? Can you say that? A what? Double. Double. Can you say double moral? Uh, what double moral standard, like a double standard, or like if you you say you do something wrong, but then the person is doing exactly the same. Itself. Yeah, a double standard, like, kind of hypocrisy. It's like no, hypocritical. No, yeah, yeah. Hypocrite, maybe. No, no, it's a bit hard word, but you know what I mean. It's like yeah. I think there's mixed, mixed. It's a very interesting and also very different, <laughs> if I can say it that way. I think there's so, some things where it's, it seems very, very, very controlled yeah. by money, almost like a, like a, yeah, like a, yeah. I don't know. It's a mixture. I can, I can say in general. I think, I think it's a good picture of extreme. When people can, when when not people, when things can run out of hand extremely in different way because of capitalism. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I understand. It's like it's like the, it's like the poor are poor and the rich are rich kind of a thing. Like they're very, it's very like when you're poor, you're really poor. When you're rich, you're really rich. Kind of like kind of like kings and queens and and the peasants of like the old days, I guess in a sense. Yeah, and this this. Uh, kind of illusion of the American dream which is such a small percentage so which it's the spirit to let it to keep on having the system somehow I don't know well that's right. sort of what the wire is about it's basically saying exactly. it's like the American dream doesn't exist for these people because it's it's broken and they can't get out kind of a thing exactly and and 
I think it's a, it's a tendency that comes everywhere. Um, very high capitalism rules or big corporations, and with Europe having a crisis, it, you begin to see some of these things when the money gets, comes out from the state yeah. and goes to tax cut and stuff. So there's similar things happening on a very small scale, but there's similar things happening here. So, yeah. So what's next? So you're going to do the film about the uh, the American prison system? Are you are you going to come to the states and research it? Or yes, I have a I have a friend which family member is a prison guard. Okay. And uh, he, he would maybe um, try to make a of like a a tour thing in uh, New York prison state penitentiary. So yeah, just I have to start on the whole research thing and really do a very good story and yeah I, I want to catch a lot of different themes and if there's such a big thing of for me like kind of modern slavery and poor people and there's a lot of things I don't know if I can put it together no uh, I, in just a, a, but I think it's about, it, there's a lot of things that to dig in to so no go, congratulations and like the like this doing the, like this film has done very well at various festivals and obviously people it's a, it's a, your film is a very memorable film. It's like, it's hard to like forget okay. about it. You know what I mean? Like it's something that's, that you think about it a week after you saw it because just, you never seen anything like that before. Well, thank you very much. I don't have to say that. And, and so congratulations and, and let me know when um, your next film is done and hopefully we can uh, show more films of yours uh, at our festival in the future. Yeah, that would be lovely. Um, yes. All right, thank you very much, and have fun. And well, it'll probably take five years. No. Of course. It'll be two years with this. <laughs> That's how it works, and I'll, I guess I'll see you in five years. Yes, see you in five years. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>